What's going on everybody? Welcome back to Supreme Tech. Today I'm going to show you how to speed up your DaVinci Resolve clips, make them buttery smooth. It's going to be way less chop, way less sloppy footage, and it's going to make your workflow 10 times easier. You're going to be able to see what you're doing on the preview window. You're not going to have to worry about it uh, skipping a bunch of frames all the time. And it only takes a couple steps, about five minutes. So make sure to stick around to the end of the video. Also, guys, if you're new to the channel, feel free to subscribe and smash that like button. Turn on the post notifications so you know exactly when I come out with brand new videos. Also, check out some of the links below. We got a bunch of electronic gear and stuff like that. So feel free to take a look and let's get right into the video. All right, everyone, so here we are in DaVinci Resolve, and I'm just going to get right to it. We're going to go right to all the steps. So if you need to pause the video, you can go ahead and pause it, but let's get to the first step. And all you got to do is come up here to the top where it says Playback in this tab right here. You're going to click on that, and you're going to go to Proxy Mode, and you can click either Half Resolution or Quarter Resolution. So this is the first step. Click one of these. Again, let's go to playback, come down to proxy mode, and go switch it to either half or quarter resolution. All right, moving on to the next step. It's going to be in the playback tab again. So we're going to click here again. And you're going to come down to delete render cache. All right. You click delete render cache, and then you come over here to all. And that's going to get rid of a lot of stuff that's slowing you up, making your footage really choppy and stuff like that. So that's definitely going to help. Um, make sure to stick around to the end of this video, guys, because if you just did these two steps, it's definitely not going to be the best that it can be. So let's move on to the next step. And to do this, we're going to want to go to our project settings. So you can either click down here in the bottom right in this little settings button or you can go to file come down to project settings and you're gonna make sure you're in the master settings tab right here and then scroll down to where it says optimize media and render cache okay once we're in this section we're gonna pay attention to these two here where it says optimize media format and render cache format you're going to change these both to a DNXHR-HQ or space HQ. You're going to make sure both of these are on that. Okay. If you just change one and not the other, it's it's not going to work the same. So make sure you change both of these to DNXHR space HQ. And then just do the second one. And there you go. If you're using a Mac, you're going to want to use the ProRes ones, all right? The DNX HR ones are for the Windows, and the ProRes ones are for the Mac. Once you've done that, you're going to want to click Save. Make sure you click Save, or else it's not going to register. All right, then we're going to come back to our Playback tab up here, and you're going to want to make sure this is checked. The first one, it should be. Um, it's Use Optimized Media if Available. Just make sure you click that. Then we're going to go back to the playback tab. Come down to render cache. And you're going to want to click on user. Again, playback tab, render cache, and go to user. All right, so the first three steps that we just did are going to prepare your system to optimize the files. It's not going to optimize them yet. That's what these next steps are for. So just remember that you got your system ready to be optimized, but now we got to actually optimize it. So the next step is going to be to go to whichever clip you're using. Okay. You can either right click on it here or you can right click on it here. And all you got to do is click generate optimized media. And I'm just going to drag it in here again so I can do it here to show you because I'm working on this one right here. But what you got to do is right click on the clip. Don't right click on the audio file or the audio part because sometimes it won't show up. Just right click on the video part and click on generate optimized media. 
When you do that, you're going to see a window pop up right here. It says generating optimized media. And depending on how long the clip is or how much resolution the clip is, like if it's 4K or HD, it might take a little bit longer. But you just wait for this to go through, wait for it to get all the way done. And then once you've generated the optimized media, you're good to go. But you should notice that when you generate the optimized media, that the playback is a lot smoother. Everything's better, okay? It's way less choppy. You can actually see what you're doing when you're working. So I hope this helped you out, guys. If it did, leave a comment down below. Let me know what you thought. Also, if I miss a couple steps or something, if you know a different way how to do this, make sure to leave them in the comments. But I think that about does it for today. Like I said, if you're new to the channel, subscribe, smash that like button. Thanks for watching, everyone, and I'll catch you in the next one.